a radical leftist LGBTQ publication called Pink News recently published an article titled UK's biggest cervical cancer charity shuts down disgustingly transphobic lie that only females get cervical cancer. Disgustingly transphobic, they called it. We'll get to that in a second. Their article read, and I quote again, as Joe's Cervical Cancer Trust emphasized, anyone with a cervix can get cervical cancer. So people with cervixes should attend regular screenings with their GP. This includes trans men, transmasculine people, intersex people, and non-binary people, as well as some trans women who have had gender confirmation surgery, end quote. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Of course, only females get cervical cancer because only females have cervix. It's called biology. No, men do not get cervical cancer. Transgender men who are biological women who identify as men who get cervical cancer are still biological women. How can you tell? Because they have cervix. It's dictated by DNA, not self-purported identity. You don't get to be a woman just because you feel like you should be a woman. You're a woman because your biology, your DNA dictates it, period. And yes, only women get periods too. And no, this is not transphobic to say so. If you're an adult, you can choose to live your life by whatever name you want, dress however you want. You can even have whatever plastic surgery you want. That's none of my business if you are an adult. But don't call me people with cervix. Stop trying to erase womanhood. By telling biological men who identify as women that they are real women, you are literally erasing biological women. You are obliterating women's rights, women's accomplishments, and the innate endowment of gender written into our very DNA. Don't get me wrong. We should have the utmost compassion for our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ who suffer from gender dysphoria. That's a tremendous burden. We should lovingly ensure that they enjoy equal rights under the law, the same as everybody else, no matter their lifestyle choice. But indulging delusion to the point of pretending that men can have cervix and women are just people with cervix is demeaning, insulting, anti-woman, and anti-science. And it really shouldn't be controversial to say so.